What's up, YouTube? So I am down here. Even though my channel is called Living in Edgewater, I'm down here at Molo's Restaurant on the Hudson River in Weehawken, which is a few miles south of Edgewater. You can see that view if you've watched my previous videos. You can see downtown New York City. Uh, it's always off in the distance. Well, it's not so off in the distance anymore. Now you can really see that far, far building. That tallest building is the Freedom Tower all the way down there at the edge and back out. So I actually rode my one wheel up to Weehawken uh, up on the cliff to a pet store that actually has the raw dog food called Primal frozen that my dog eats. So naturally I have to take that trip to get his food. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find that food. So I took the trip up here and usually I have a gimbal to, to shoot these videos on my iPhone, but I forgot my gimbal like an idiot. There's somebody on a chest out there. I don't know if you can see them. Anyway, I forgot my gimbal, but I was like, this is going to be so beautiful. It's such a beautiful afternoon or getting into the early evening now here in New Jersey. And I figured this would be a really cool part of the area to show you guys considering moving into the area. So let's see if I can not make this too shaky, if I can actually make this somewhat watchable. Let's turn on my one wheel here. And I'm basically gonna take you guys on a one mile stretch from this Molo's restaurant. Sorry about that. It would help if my hand wasn't in the way. This cool little thing. Uh, Molo's restaurant in Weehawken to Riverbend in West New York, which is a, about a one mile ride, but you're gonna see some really, really awesome luxury uh, apartment complexes for lease and condos for sale. So this is River's Edge. Real quick, funny story. I once got, there's a dog groomer down here at P.I. Paws. And when I first got my dog and he got his first grooming, I brought him in there just thinking, oh, it got really, really good reviews. And I went to pick him up from his grooming and the bill was like $300. So I had to play it off like, yeah, that's no big deal. Inside I was dying. But long story longer, I found a less, a lot less expensive place to get my dog groomed every couple weeks. So check this out. Check out all these apartments here. Look at how beautiful this is. So yeah, I found a, a place in Cliffside Park where it's about 65 every six weeks. And as a former school teacher, not so long ago, $65 every six weeks is much more feasible than $300, as much as it was really an amazing haircut. And she's a very talented woman. Check this out. A little memorial to the World Trade Center. Awesome. Got that city view. Gonna kinda cut through here. at how absolutely beautiful this is. We're actually in Weehawken right now. And these are some of my, my most favorite, favorite anywhere on River Road. Condos and townhouses are right on this corner, right here. I'm not even sure if I know what the name of this building is. But it is absolutely spectacular. See if I can cut around and kind of see what the name of this is. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm not quite sure if we're exactly in Weehawken or West New York, but we're definitely right on the cusp of the two towns.
all these cool little roads in here. Just beautiful and off in the distance, if you can see the cars going north and south, that's River Road. And that's that main artery. And these are these cool little side roads they basically put back in here in this community. That's really, really neat with all these luxury complexes. See if we can get the exact name of this building. There we go. We were just down there. No, actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. We're actually still in Weehawken because we're about to pass the Weehawken. terminal system for the ferry that goes to Midtown. Unlike the one in Edgewater, the one in Edgewater is awesome, but it's only Monday through Friday, kind of before work, after work, you can catch it. But this is the, the main hub in New Jersey for the ferry that we're going to be coming up upon in a second, that you can get it, you know, basically almost 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Look at the entrance of this building, how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. 800 River Road. Beautiful. All right. So this is the Weehawken Port Imperial Ferry. As you can see, uh, I was actually on the Edgewater Ferry this morning. And it is tiny in comparison to the size of this one. So this is definitely the more popular one. Let's cut in here into the shade. Have a bunch of shops across the street, a couple restaurants. If you take the ferry, as you can see the buses to my right, if you have like a monthly pass or you take the ferry, the really cool thing is the ferry system will drive you to whatever community of apartment complexes you live in basically on uh, on River Road here, uh, essentially like quarter mile, half a mile in each direction, and which is a great service. Definitely the more civilized commute, and they put it on the side of their buses, and that's exactly what that is in comparison to the bus. So all right, now I believe we're at Imperator, we're gonna cut through here. Thankfully for the one wheel, I can get through here. And now we are actually in West New York on River Road. And these are all rentals. This is Riverbend Apartments. I have a few friends that used to live in here. Luxury apartments. They've actually been here for quite some time now. Let's try to not get soaked by this puddle. Off to my left over here, we have a P.F. Chang's restaurant. As a former school teacher, very popular for happy hour, even though I never really attended. Let's scoot back in here so you can just give you guys this New York City view from here. So as you can see, the further south you go on River Road, the better the view is in terms of lower Manhattan and like the big skyscraper buildings. Really, really beautiful. More luxury apartments to my right. All rentals, I believe. The ones that we passed in Weehawk in my favorite, those are all condos for the most part, I believe. And once you cross over into West New York, these are more rentals. Those are way newer construction than these are. These have been here for quite some time. But they are beautiful nonetheless. They have tennis courts. Off to my left, I know inside they have basketball courts and full gym. Um, kids playground. Off to my left. You can see down there, Port Imperial. That's the I believe that's where the gym is in the basketball court that I just spoke of. Very nice, very nice. We are cutting through. And 
convenient grocery store. They do have an Acme down here when you get this far south on River Road. It's basically the only grocery store down here in the Weehawken, West New York area of River Road. Whereas in Edgewater, we have the Whole Foods and the Trader Joe's. So I would definitely say we win the restaurant, restaurant, grocery store war, if you will. But they do have an Acme, so they have a grocery store here. Some restaurants off to my right. Cleaners. This is all retail on the bottom. It's residential on top. Retail on the bottom. You see a beautiful uh, fountain here. It's so freaking hot here today. I would love to just ride my one wheel right through there. Restaurant right on the Hudson River, San Cubano. And now we're heading back out to River Road so that I can start making my way north back to Edgewater. With my dog's food in tow. Hopefully it's still frozen. I brought a reusable bag that's actually lined inside. So hopefully the 88 degree weather with 90% humidity doesn't melt the raw dog food in my bag. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so here we go. We're about to make our way down onto River Road. I think right here, when I'm about to make this right onto River Road, there is a bike lane, if I'm not mistaken. Is there a bike lane? There is a bike lane. Is this a bike lane? Yes, I think this is something that looks like a bike lane. So yeah, as you can see down here on River Road, you know, the markets, what time? I believe the markets have closed. I believe it's after four when I'm filming this. So the traffic on River Road is starting to pick up going north and south, people coming out of the city, coming home from work. And as you can see, it basically becomes like a highway. So without this bike lane right here, I would not feel comfortable by having the, you know, the curb three inches to my right and a car's side mirror three inches to my left. But that's not exactly my idea of an enjoyable bike ride. The landings at Port Imperial, all luxury apartments. So yeah, as you can see here, I believe we're still in West New York on River Road. River Road is super wide when you get this far south, you know? So it gets narrower in certain areas and wider in others. And down here, being that it's wider, they can put a bike lane. But I'm actually going to take you guys right to where the bike lane actually ends for no other reason other than the fact that River Road gets much more narrow uh, in about another quarter of a mile here north. As you can see those three big tall towers off in the distance. I actually used to live in one of those tower towers. That's called the Galaxy Towers. Those towers are actually in Guttenberg. Very weird layouts over here over towns. One side of the street is one town. The other side of the street is the other town. But we basically consider all of this over here the Gold Coast. So yeah, even in this bike lane, I don't like being on the road. Hence why I learned to run I might kill myself on this thing one day, but at least I can say I was in control of it. And 99.9% .9 likelihood would have been from user error. Not because somebody was texting while driving or not paying attention. So bike, la bike lane's ending. So hop my little one wheel up here on the sidewalk. Continue on our frozen raw food journey back to Edgewater. Hopefully the battery lasts on this thing. It's really cool, these electric batteries. I never realized until I got one of these things that I believe it's the same thing with like Teslas and electric vehicles. In warmer weather, the battery lasts so much longer 
and if I ride this thing in the winter around here, I get half the battery life. It's incredible. But it's hot here, so I should make it back just fine. All right. Got some tennis courts down here on my right. This is actually called the Jacobs Ferry. And these are townhomes, beautiful townhomes. I'm gonna, just for you guys, I'm gonna make a right into here. And see if I can give you guys a little video of how beautiful it looks back in here. Absolutely beautiful back in here and a little bit of shade. How about that? This one wheel doesn't get me home because the battery dies. So I'm gonna blame it on trying to get you guys this view right here, back in here, the townhomes. So this is a beautiful townhome community in West New York, cute little roads, very private. little gated community, but nothing a one wheel can't get past. All right, we're gonna make a U-turn, let this car go. And then we're gonna head back out of here and head back out onto River Road. So again, we're at Jacobs Ferry in West New York, New Jersey, checking out the townhomes that are right on the river. this guy doing? I think he's reversing back into his spot. Okay. All right. There you go. So that's Bulls Ferry. Or Jacob, yeah, Jacob's Ferry, Bulls Ferry, Port Imperial. This guy must, must be a tennis 